Hello everybody, it's Mr. Shark here back for another tutorial video. Today we're going to be building the final part of our Dan TDM uh, Hardcore Castle. Now I know uh, I always take like little break. Um, no, wait, hang on, that's not what I was going to say. I know um, it's been a while on this channel, uh, like ten days, I think it is. But uh, I know I always have reasons, but this one is that my phone uh, has been damaged, so now it won't take pictures. So if you look at all of this that I have um, to, you know, take pictures of, then it's just really annoying. I can remember some of it, but like I say, I just don't want to keep going backwards and forwards with a lot of my builds. But that's what I'm just going to have to do for now. Uh, also, it is my birthday next month, so hopefully I'll get one then. That means we can continue. And that also means that instead of doing the SP737 house... Uh, just to make things easier, I think I'm just going to do uh, this uh, secret thing over there. Because that's really like one of... Um, no, I might do the firehouse actually. Uh, one of those two, whatever the next build will be. Just get, you know, like I say, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's just get straight into building. And we are going to begin with the roofs that we did not do. Um... So yeah, let's begin on this little side, where, where are those shrooms? So we want to place shroom lights uh, on the end of these, like, little columns on this one here. So there should be, like, it is a castle, so there should be, like, a little thing sticking out, you know, like this. And then you want warped slab. Um, let me just show you what, you want it on this layer, and you want to do it all the way until underneath that one block there. And that's that, this hallway done. And now you want shroom lights on these edges here, like so. And then you just want to fill in the rest of this roof with your warped slab. Alright, so now we're going to do, not the not the roof roof, this next floor, and we want shrooms in those corners. So moving down now, um, we want, uh, it's on that layer, we want shroom light, we want to move to this third layer here, and we want shroom lights on these blocks here. And then fill this layer in with warped slabs as well. And here you just want to place them underneath like that. So we should have this, basically. Hang on, let me just fill in the rest of this. We want this, basically. Now if we keep going with this. There we go. Uh, we do want a staircase, but I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, that will be the next thing I'm doing next uh, after the roof. Now we do just want to fill in a solid roof on this top layer of glass, which really annoys me. But that's the way he's done it, so that's the way I've got to replicate it. On this top layer of glass. This is just fully uh, warped, you don't need any shroom lights. There we go, so if I just break out of here. You can see how annoying this looks from the outside. I know you're not really looking at it at eye level, like if in, you know, you'd be looking at it from down here, but still. Alright, so now, um, we'll do that staircase, so, I'll just grab a campfire, so, and that. So, gilded blackstone, and one block away, and start on the left side. So, uh, find your back wall here, and find the very middle, so this one. Then leave a block gap, and on the middle one place a gilded, uh, polished, like, um, pol gilded blackstone, sorry. Then you want polished blackstone brick walls going all the way to the top. So, if I, I think I can cut that one out. Uh, going all the way to the top, and then cut one out in the roof. Which, again, why couldn't you just fill in a, a top layer and it connect easier? Uh, now for your staircase. Uh, place a warp slab here, and then keep going round layer by layer. This should be pretty easy because you can just use the this uh, aside from here where you've got to do that. But if we just keep going round, uh, I think we have to connect, uh, get cut out that, 
and then we want to stop here so just cut out a little C shape on the top like this and then your staircase will make your way down like this so that is that and then place a soul campfire here so now we can get rid of those things in our inventory and now uh, on this wall here we're going to con just get straight into it we want three uh, by two furnaces like so and then we want and then we want a crafting table here and a chest there. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yeah, we should, let me do them beds. So, see so that I can't even get in here. This is just annoying. On that corner, and then three. So grab uh, white beds, three white beds. And then on this corner here, uh, place one bed, so you're on your corner, and then add two to that, so he has a triple bed. This room is probably not my favourite, because it's just beds in a room. Like, you know, you could do, could have added something more, but no, he crams everything in his castle. I'll tell you what, if you guys actually want to see me try and improve this castle, uh, in my own with my own spin on it, then um, do let me know in the comments, because I think it would be kind of fun to try and improve some of these builds of his. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just move on. What do we want? Uh, ender chest, slightly damaged anvil, salt, uh, and then, yeah. Uh, also torches there. Weird. See, this is where uh, it gets a bit annoying because I've got to remember where all this stuff goes. So grab a note block, and on these back two here, place a note block, then a chest, then a soul torch, then cartography table, then over here you want an ender chest, slightly damaged anvil, stone cutter, and a slightly damaged anvil again. Then up here, two soul tor torches, I think they're on that block, if they're not, then just add them higher. Uh, no, they're on that top one, and then place a, uh, hang on, let me just, so these want to be on your top, like so. Now you can get rid of most of that stuff in your inventory, uh, except the chests, and then grab a item frame, and then you want to put any enchantment on a bow, and then call it less shoot, and or less shot. Let me look. Place any enchantment on a bow as long as it enchants, and then call it less shoot like so, and then that's uh, his bow and this room done. So um, what I'm going to do as well, I'm not going to show you what's in these item frames, I'm going to, well, I'm not going to place the item frames, I'm going to show you what's in them and then you can do that your, yourself. So just grab what I'm grabbing now. Crafting table on that one. Yeah, you see how this is annoying to remember? I'm going to fly in it. Perfect. Alright, so now... Um, you want regular item, three regular item frames on each of these sides here. Leave this block on each. Then underneath your screen light, place a crafting table and a red shock box facing this way. And what I mean by facing is when you open it, it should come out of the wall. That is right, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. So then blue, pink, yellow on the very middle. Right, so, so find your very middle block here, leave a two block gap, and then do yellow, pink, blue. So facing that they'll just regular height. Now we do want to finish it off with just chests and item frames, so I'm, apologies, this is going to be a lot of backwards and forwards. So that's a single, a single, a single facing that way. So all the singles face this way, right, and that's two. So on these blocks you want singles, like so, and then place another single on top of that, like that. What would you like to play next? Sorry, my Alexa just responds to random words, even though I never even said a word beginning with A, uh, I'm hoping you heard that because, you know, I, I'm not crazy. Um, then, one, two, two, is that the same on this side? No. One, two, two, and then each of those middle blocks. So moving on to this wall now, we want one, and then double chest, get rid of that one and make sure those two connect, and then add single ones on top like so. 
Uh, for an item frame, you can put. Uh, actually, let me check the item frame placements before I move on to an, a final layer. So that's see what I mean as well. Some of these chests just don't have a marker, so you don't know what they're for. Um, so that's those three. One, one. I think I can remember that. Alright, so now uh, on this one, you want item frame there, 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 then there, then also there, there, and on that one there. So let me just show you that from a bird's eye, like so. Now, moving on to our next wall, which will be this one. Two singles. A load of singles on this one, I'm noticing. So that's a staircase, and then I think I can remember that. So. We, on this wall we want a double, then one there, one there. Then this entire wall wants to be made up of singles. I don't know what the... Actually, I do know the best way to do this. Uh, so, get rid of that one. Cut a hole in here for now. Make a double there. Keep that double. Then place a single there. Get rid of these ones. Make a double. No. Make a double. Place a single there. So, you should, so do this. And then single single like so and then please connect yes it does right so that is how you get your uh, load of singles next to each other and then you want another two singles on top of each other so there we go and then just one like that so you want a staircase of singles which is very annoying but you know hey ho now the item frames and the sh and you want a grey shoulder box so let me just check grey next to that one and then four and one right so a grey shoulder box here that comes out, like so, then uh, four on this bottom layer, then one there. Uh, you can get rid of the um, grey shoulder box now, and then moving on to our final wall. Two singles, then double double, right, I think I can remember this one. So we want two sets of singles in the middle, so best way to do this is make two double chests like so, then that, and then... Place one there and hope that connects. It does. Place another one there. Connect, please. Please. No. Oh, damn it. Um, right. Double, single. Oh, this is annoying. Yes. Right. There, that's how I did it. So you need double, single, single, double. Then you want two more singles up here. Sorry, my TV's just turned off. This is the problem with not being able to edit videos. Now you want two sets of double chests here. I mean, all right, two sets of double chests, and then like so. And then our final set of item frames before I actually show you what goes in said item frames. Four and one again. So, four here, and then one there. So there we go, that is going to finish off our build. So now I'm just going to show you what goes in all of these item frames. Uh, I have obviously already done the Le Chute one, which I'll just give you another look. There we go. Now on this side you want uh, the things you can see on screen, the Egg, Rotten Flesh, and Broken Music Disc. This side, bone and two rotten fleshes. I don't know why you would display these things, but he does. So uh, I'm going to make my way, my way round clockwise. So yeah. So on this one, you want a black die, I believe that is. Then single, and then what is that? That is white terracotta. Uh, seeds, not single. Then prismarine shard, a chorus fruit there, and a magma block. You can see these for yourself, but I'm still going to like describe them just in case you can't tell what the block is. Now here you want a saddle, a diamond, a iron sword which you're going to have to twist because if you look you place it that way so twist it. Then cobblestone there with a, and then a term of undying there. Then moving on to this side we want dirt, then for some reason sideways oak planks. Then is that sand? Yes yeah, sand and then green stained glass. Then this one we want rabbit hide and here we want redstone. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is going to wrap up our video, and we're, that is where we're going to finish off uh, another build. So, if my character can open his eyes for the outro.
Thank you. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, whether it's the fire station or our mystery thing. But, um, yeah, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I say, sorry this takes so, this will take so long and all that. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, any build suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And, um, yeah, have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.